ABC News exclusive. From COVID to cyber attacks to rising prices, grocery stores have gone through a lot of changes over the past year. We are joined now by the CEO of the Kroger company, Rodney McMullen, with what we can expect as America returns to some level of normalcy. And welcome to your return, Mr. McMullen, here to GMA. Good morning to you. Good morning, Robin. Good Thank to you. see you. Good to see you again. Uh, you know this. Just last week, uh, one of your suppliers, the nation's largest meat supplier, JBS Foods, hit by a massive ransomware attack. How did this directly impact Kroger? Well, in, in this case, JBS did a great job of keeping us supplied and really getting back online. So the customer didn't feel it, didn't see it at all. And uh, it, it's really the two companies working together and JBS having a good backup plan. So in this case, fortunately, it didn't affect the customer in any kind of way. The supply chain was fine. That's, that's uh, very encouraging. But in general, uh, consumers are saying they are seeing a rise in costs at the supermarket, in particular uh, when it comes to meat purchases. When do you think you're going to see an improvement in that? If you look at uh, through the balance of the year, uh, we would expect inflation to be somewhere between one and two percent. Uh, we had expected some volatility in inflation early in the year uh, versus last year, and that's what we're seeing. Uh, so far, uh, the inflation that we've been able to not pass to the customer, we haven't passed everything through the customer uh, because we really think it's uh, more short, short term oriented. Uh, but uh, the supply chain is functioning very smoothly. And as you know, a year ago, uh, it was pretty wild. Oh, yes, you were with us a year ago. You're reading my mind when it was all about the supply chain disruptions. At that time, it was all about paper products. This time, it's about meat supply. So what should consumers know right now about the supply chain, sir? Yeah, I love the question, Robin. And from a customer standpoint, the supply chain is pretty much back to where it was pre-COVID. And it's really all of our uh, almost half a million people, our associates have done a great job of keeping the stores in stock. Our CPG partners have done a great job of getting the stores replenished. So if you look at uh, today from a customer experience, uh, it's almost exactly the way it was before COVID. So it's exciting to see, but it's a lot of people working together to, to make that happen. Yep, that teamwork makes the dream work as always. And we do know that Kroger has been at the forefront when it comes to getting folks vaccinated. And now you're thinking of some incentives to help more folks get vaccinated. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's so exciting. And it really, uh, the, the President Biden's administration uh, had conversations with us in terms of what more could we do. Uh, we were really inspired by what Governor DeWine did here in Ohio with the million dollar giveaway. Uh, so we decided uh, to give our customers the opportunity to win a million dollars a week for the next five weeks if you get vaccinated at Kroger or in one of our stores or at one of our events. And, you know, a million dollars uh, each week can change somebody's life mm -hmm. forever. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to get America back full speed. And it's just one more way of helping support that. So it's exciting to be able to do that. Uh, we also uh, provide a hundred dollars incentive for each one of our associates when they become fully vaccinated as well. And as we go away, you're also talking about hiring 10,000 new workers this summer at a time when a lot of retailers are, are talking about how they, they are having a difficult time finding workers. Yeah, there is no doubt that uh, we're having a difficult time fighting, uh, we call our employees associates. Uh, and if you look at uh, the number of openings we have today, it looks just exactly like it was before COVID hit. And it's because of our continued growing business, our ability to connect with our customers uh, is creating the need to hire 10,000 associates. And we're really excited about being able to provide it because one of the things at Kroger, so many people come here for a job but then they make it a career. Mm. And that's, uh, I always tell people, you can do whatever job you want uh, as long as you keep growing. You know, Rodney McMullen, thank you again for joining us here on GMA. We appreciate your Thanks. insight very much. You take care, have a good day. Thanks, Robin. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.